Hello and welcome back to the NA Salt Mine. I am your host, Brian. We start the gauntlet today, are you excited? I'm excited. It is all best of sevens now, and that means more time mining salt. Let me say thank you to our sponsors Zydax and Intel. Please visit the links below, as they enabled us to run this tournament. Kronovi never really found his form during the league, and enters the gauntlet win less. However that means he has the biggest opportunity to do a fabled and rumored gauntlet run. Will he? Mektos also enters the gauntlet in round 1, and will want to undo a streak of losses that he suffered at the end of league play. The winner today will secure a minimum of $100 extra, and go on to round 2 to face Forky. Are you all ready? Johnny, are you ready? Let's go. It's time to find out if Kronovi can make the flakes run. He was already... He already accepted the fact that he was going to need to make that run quite a while ago. But he did hope it would start off against a different player than this. Mektos gave him a pretty swift 3-0 beating in league play. And he's off to a good start here. Confident rebound by Mektos. He's going to be a bit disappointed about how low he finished down the league here. After starting off two wins and one loss, he's on a four-loss streak. Now, that's not as bad as Kronovi's current seven-loss streak. But still, not where he wanted to be. I'm curious to see how the Fennec is going to work out for Kronovi here. He's tried the Dominus, he's tried the Octane, and although the Octane had relative success against First Killer, it still didn't get him the win. So he's going to try something a bit different here so far. Not the most powerful hits on the ball. Mekto's given him some to think about. Another one almost crosses the line, but Kronovi is confident with this ability to control this. No need to panic and send the ball back into Mekto's just yet. Again, Mektos takes control before any other real danger is presented by Kronovi. Here he comes in the air, a place where he's been right at home all tournament long. Uh, don't forget, this is a best of seven. And under pressure in playoffs, certainly going to be somewhere Kronovi's used to being. But he's struggling to read Mektos here. That's twice in a row this game. The Mektos has just played the ball faster than Kronovi was anticipating. 2-0 already to the rival series player. Of course, that could be subject to change depending on how future matches go. Although I say that, then I realize maybe they'll already have happened by the time you guys see this. Who knows? I've not really thought that far ahead. But anyway, Kronovi still scoreless in game one. The one good thing for him so far, the one takeaway, is that his kickoffs haven't been a complete disaster. He's going to be happy about that. But everything else is going in Mekto's favor. He's been more aggressive. He's had more control. He's had better touches on the ball. Kronovi's going to need to elevate and bring that offense that's been scary all tournament long when it shows up. Now, in midfield play, Kronovi has been able to go even with just about everybody in the tournament, but kickoffs were the problem. But here... Mektos has just outpaced him three times in a row. And that's another confident rebound by him. Top corner, 3 0. So Kronovi can't really complain about kickoffs in this matchup so far. He can't say that that's the reason because there was an extended period of time before every single goal so far. He's had options, he's had chances, he's had positions where he could control the ball. Mektos seems to be able to take it away from him whenever he does. Still, time in game one for Kronovi to figure this one out. I do think this is a tough matchup for him, but it's not unwinnable, and he does get one goal on the board. Nice backflip flick in the near post. Mektos just flipping underneath the ball, not close to a save. Still over half the game to go. Kronovi thinking about going for an immediate shot here. Looks like Mektos might have gotten the way of that one. Kronovi's got to be careful in this exchange. Mektos ready to jump on any loose ball and actually just going to score near post. Kronovi hesitant to challenge and unable to save the direct shot. Three goal gap opens up again. Now, Kronovi is going to make a flakes run. He'd want to start strong if you remember from last year. 
Flakes did not, in fact, go 0 and 7 in his league play. He did get a win on the board right at the end against Scrub Killer. And another one before that as well. So he's not completely in the same position as Flakes was last year. Certainly not in the same position at the start of his first playoff match, down by quite a few goals. And in a low-scoring game like this, a three-goal lead feels like a lot. Kronovi with huge boost advantage here, goes right over Mekto's head, good finish as well. A brilliant read on Mekto's boost amount here, because committing for this aerial would have been a disaster if Mekto's did have boost, but Kronovi had a good read on him, knew that the boost was dwindling, and he's gone for the open net. Back within two. Mektos lands in reverse on the kickoff. That's a brilliant adaptation. Not often you see kickoff goals with this variation. It's usually a strategy employed by most to lose a kickoff while in control of the ball. But this time, Mektos lands so well that he's got a dunk on Kronobi. Now the fake kickoff. All the mix-ups are coming from Mektos' end. He's the one who's been more willing so far to keep Kronovi guessing. Good save to the top corner again by Mektos. Kronovi getting a rare extended period of pressure, but unfortunately it's amounted to nothing. Mektos is back in control. And it's this sort of play that will really frustrate Kronovi that dunks coming off the ceiling and the walls are so hard to stop. And he's even thrown a bump in there as well. And now Kronovi has to be really careful not to get tilted because something he mentioned earlier on in the tournament as one of his biggest frustrations is the fact that whenever two cars would co would collide, his seemed to be the lighter of the two. He felt like he's made a paper while his opponents are hitting him in battle tanks. And if he lets that mindset come back, he really will be in a world of trouble against Mektos, who will never be shy of a 50-50 challenge. 7-2 now. The kickoff pressure starting to get to Kronovi. Can he right the ship before it sinks completely? If he can get past Mektos, he's got a few matchups that were looking at least a bit better against him. Forky, the next player in the line, waiting to see who wins this one. Now, that's a player who dominated Mektos, but scraped a win against Kronovi in Game 5, a match that Kronovi felt like he threw, although both players did their fair share of throwing on that day. But so once you get into that middle of the table, that things really start to heat up. If you can get into top four in playoffs, you qualify for the Salt Mine World Finals. That's what everybody's aiming for. Besides the win in playoffs itself, it's confident dunk by Mektos. Like I said, this guy's not afraid of a 50-50. Kronovi's going to need to play as carefully as possible in that kind of position. Luckily for him, this game was already long gone. So he's not going to be too upset about that dunk. But it's that one earlier where Mektos came off the ceiling and then just landed perfectly on the ball. Or even the kickoff play where Mektos landed in reverse and got the ball past Kronovi. These are the kinds of goals that can get under your skin. They can cause you problems. Whether or not Mektos keeps that kind of play up. Fact is, still the same. He wins game one of this best of seven. Mektos wins the first game, but it is still a long way to go until the end of the best of seven series. Crow is currently behind on most stats, and needs to figure out what to change to make the next games more competitive. On to game two we go. Game two, an important one for Kronovi. He needs to figure out a winning game plan as fast as possible. He's back in the Fennec, because kickoffs went pretty well last game, and they will start off pretty well in game two as well. Mektos losing because he's gone too low. Now, everybody else who beat Mektos in this tournament did so because they were able to deny him boost. They kept him moving as slowly as possible for as long as possible in the game. Now, last game, Kronovi did not do that. I think he was playing too controlled. He was playing too slow. And Mektos was just all over him. And when you give Mektos that much boost and that much time on the ball, he is such a difficult player to beat. But so far, this is looking like anything except a Kronovi Salt Mine series because he's just scored two kickoff goals to Mektos 1. So already, 
out of the ordinary here, but we talked about this earlier in the tournament. Kronovi knew what his biggest problem was. He felt confident against players in midfield play, and although game one wasn't a good example of that, he seems to have at least put some work into his biggest problem. Now, what can he do about the rest of the game? It won't be a kickoff goal from Mektos to make it 3-2. Kronovi is going to make a run here. He will have to try and hold on to a lead every now and then because there have been plenty disappointing games for him where he's been in control right until the end and then he's allowed somebody a way back in. Mektos is on the hunt for that right now. He's looking for an opening. Kronovi avoids the boost greed in the back corner in favor of making a save. Now that's a good line of attack in field. Brilliant angle by Crow. And he's up 4-1. A complete turnaround from the last game. Now a midfield play goal to add to his kickoff pressure that he's already built up on Mektos. So many kickoff goals in this game. My goodness. That's, I make that 3-2 now in kickoffs alone. Kronovi's winning the kickoff game and he's winning the goals outside of kickoffs game as well. Just over a minute in. But it's going to be another one for Kronovi. Who is this guy? Who did Kronovi give the controller to? Because this is a completely new machine compared to what we saw during league play. I think he scored more kickoff goals in this game than he did in the entirety of all seven series he's played up until this point. Four already in game two. As he looks to tie up the series. Now, Kronovi there actually pointing the camera down for a moment during the kickoff. And I wonder if he was looking to see if Mektos was trying to land backwards. And if he did change his lineup to the ball as a result of what he saw. I'd be curious to ask him about that. There's no denying Kronovi's looking much more solid than he did last game. Oh, he's even got the finesse at the near post. Dunks on Mektos to deny the clear and then just passes it to himself off the wall to guarantee the goal. Lots of players really gone straight for the bottom corner there. It's hard to ignore the open net when it's staring you in the face. Kronovi playing confidently all of a sudden. Wildly different game from the opening match in the series. And there was always this feeling about Kronovi, although he's lost every match in league play. There were signs of life in several of them. And you did wonder what could happen if he could fix his kickoff. Well, this is, I guess, the final test. Will he be able to get the job done against Mektos? Bit of a weird bounce there by Crow. He's kicked the ball a lot further off the wall than he intended to. And he's allowed Mektos one goal back. Still a long time left in the game. Kronovi will not want to give Mektos any free goals if he can avoid it. Now Mektos coming straight at it. The direct flick though, Kronovi not too worried about those. Mektos not too concerned either. He's just setting up a consistent pressure play, but it's well dealt with by Crow. Who gave Mektos lots of shots in game one. And lots of goals. With this game at least he's denying the goals. Even if he is going to allow those shots to happen. Surely a fake challenge by Crow. Mektos coming straight down the middle again. This time it's the bump, but a failed one. Kronovi with a brilliant save. And that is something we expect to see from him. We've had some of the best saves that we've seen all tournament. Often back to back. But this time he only needed the one. The Mektos might try and make the same play again. Yes it is. But it's another save by Crow. This time diving in the way of the ball. And I think he's just squeezed in the open net for 7-3. Looking absolutely competitive in the series. And looking confident as well. Kronovi stays safe on the back wall. And he sends the ball clear. Mektos trying to reach this one. And he does. Well played. Had to dodge into the position to reach the ball here. But in doing so, he gives himself another goal back. Still an absolutely winnable game for him. And if he can win it, that will make Kronovi's life so much more difficult. Coming back from two games down instead of a tie series. And that's hesitant from Crow. Mektos is in again. And he makes sure. Takes his time on the open net. And you have to say that looked way too slow from Kronovi. Too nervous, too casual on the approach. Much like his game one self. Just 
coming forward in a controlled fashion. Not the way to play against Mechtos. Now, this is a bit less of a controlled fashion by Kuro. But at least in the aftermath, he's handled himself quite well. Mechtos not able to get there in time after the recovery. And it was a very nice recovery by Kuro after the ceiling shot. Didn't quite go to plan. He barely got in the way of the ball. And the demo guaranteed the goal. Pre-flip interception by Kuro. But Mechtos with one of his own. And who needs a pre-flip, he says. As he's back within two again. Both players thought they could sneak in front of the other one there, but Mektos was the only one who did any real sneaking. Kronobi thought he was surprising Mektos with his position, but Mektos had him spied all along. Now, no boost on Mektos. Kronobi is well aware of that fact. Now he will have some. Kronobi tries to go for the goal anyway, and he's really invested a lot in that attack. Dangerous play by the man who's in front. He's trying to keep the pressure up. Mektos on the hunt for the equalizer. Just two goals back. Weak shot. If anything you could say about Mektos dribbling this game, it has been very direct over and over again. But he's got the pump this time. And that's one goal back. And another frustrating goal for Crow to concede. Because he thought he had an opening. He thought he'd made it past Mektos here. Look at that by Mektos. He just tagged him on the back wall. As Crow is trying to jump off. And even though it looked like Kuro had dodged him. The back wall actually got Mektos landing right in front of him. He just parked the bus right in front of Kuro. That might be the equalizer. It is the equalizer. 8-8. Eight eight. And it's another nightmare for Kronovi. He'll feel like he should be way ahead in this game. Those last two goals especially were so close to being prevented. You know, it is definitely an intentional look down with a camera from Crow on that straight kickoff approach. It's both players making boost steals. Kronovi with a demo on the side wall, brilliantly spotted by him. Mektos with his eye on the ball, but Kronovi's got to move it quick here. Mektos is inevitably challenging, and there is the goal to put him in front. And there's just no quick move movement by Kronovi. He just walks forward in a straight line with no vision of his opponent. And he just has to blame himself for that one again. So close to being in front. But so far for Kronovi. Now he's one goal down. Is he going to move the ball quickly on this play? Yes, he is. But Mektos is so far back. He's done it too soon. And that might be the finishing touch from Mektos. No, Kronovi with a demo hangs on. Still, the smallest of chances has to be a full pitch air dribble. He's going for the double. It's going to be crazy if it works, but it goes straight down into the ground. And Mektos moves ahead by two. What a comeback by him. Thank you Zydex and Intel for sponsoring the NA Salt Mine. Get a custom PC with Zydex at an affordable price. And get a 5% discount using the offer code JOHNNYBOY. Two game losses so far and Crow won't want to fall any further behind. Surely now, game three is a must win game for Kronovi. Mektos, meanwhile, will be absolutely thrilled with that second game of this series. Insane comeback and he's starting off exactly as he played the entirety of game two. Air dribble bump focus. And unlike game two, he gets the first one to work out. Kronovi, despite doing quite a good job of controlling himself in avoidance of those air dribble bumps, has fallen for a couple of them. It is just such a difficult strategy to prevent if it's executed properly. And Mexos has been doing well with them. Good positioning by Mexos. Refusing to move forward and giving Kronovi the near post goal. Kronovi might still have an opportunity here. He's got all the boosts to play with, and Mektos has hardly any. Mektos has recovered well here. Look at the speed as he comes off his own crossbar, and Kronovi is bamboozled again as Mektos puts in a second goal. Now we really do see the pressure start to build. Kronovi lost game one where he fell behind early. He lost game two where he went ahead early on. Well, now he's behind early again. And every game so far, he has been on the receiving end of more shots from Mektos than he's dished out. If he can't change that, he won't be the one in control of his destiny here. 
He has to be more aggressive. He has to move the ball more quickly in offense because Mektos has been all over him for the most part. Mektos with the backflip ceiling shot. Kronovi gets there. Has some time, but not all the time in the world. Mektos will be back to deny him the open net. Early wall shot by Kronovi. Bounces favorably for him and he puts it in. Back within one and it's that turn on the wall. Confidence by Crow to attack that ball early. That's what you want to see from him. Quick movement in offense. No time for Mektos to make a play. If he can keep that up, there is still hope for him. Otherwise, I don't see it happening. He needs to start moving it quickly and he does move it quickly. As usual, Mektos makes the early challenge, but for a change, Kronovi puts it over his head. 2-2. Two -two. Certainly a close series, albeit 2-0. Credit to Mektos. He has kept Kronovi guessing for the most part. Kickoffs, offensive plays, even defensively. Mektos has been switching things up very well. Oh, that's just brilliant, though, by Crow. What patience. What control. Avoiding Mektos mid-air challenge, not once but twice. And he just guides the ball into the net with a ceiling play. 3-2. That is some way to get back in front. Mektos has landed in the wrong direction here. Another opening for Kronovi and he does come off the ceiling again. It's wide open for him and he forces it underneath the Mektos. Who's been unable to intercept the ball twice now. Although he's flown in as early as possible. Kronovi back in front. Just like he was in game two. Mektos, such a dangerous player in this matchup, even when he's behind. Incredible offense. Insane ability to create chances. That's his number one asset in this matchup so far. He's just made so many shooting opportunities. Kronovi has been unable to replicate that. Mektos thought about the ceiling shot, instead comes off the wall. It's an off the wall air dribble double touch attempt which goes wide. Kronovi has an open net, he puts it in the near post corner. And now he's up by three. It's that goal lead that feels so comfortable when you get it but then suddenly feels like nothing when you concede one goal. Mektos on the hunt for that elusive goal. He has been on the receiving end of several Kronovi plays here. What a landing by Kronovi that is. He's just sat on Mektos who is trying to recover. And Mektos concedes a sixth one. A heavy car there by Kronovi. He's talked this tournament about his car feeling light. Well, that time that certainly wasn't the case. This is the game. If Kronovi loses this one, surely the, that has got to be the end for him because he's really in full control here. Four goal, goal lead. Midfield play established. Boost secured. Surely now, even with a pull shot onto Mektos. He must be feeling confident. That's a bit fortunate for Crow, but definitely a good idea to go for the bump there if you can. If, not to force the own goal and certainly to throw Mektos off target. Look at Kronovi's kickoffs now. He's not getting big wins into Mektos half like he did at the start of game two, but he is still taking control and that's more important right now. If he can establish control and start chipping away at the remaining time, and there really is no way for Mektos to come back here. Mektos has to break the rhythm that Kronovi has established. And he's only got 95 seconds to do it with. Backflip rebound by Krill. Very interesting setup there. Wanted to maintain his position in the midfield, but Mektos' long shot's too good. Now, Kronovi was thinking there about his recovery. He wanted to go for a rebound without overextending, but he has overextended, even though it was in the back of his mind. And this is where the alarm bell starts to ring. Mektos has already come back from behind and won a game this series. Kronovi cannot allow it to happen again. Here, honestly, he should just be trying to play the ball away from Mektos. Whether or not it goes in the goal doesn't really matter at this point. As long as Mektos can't get near it, that's a win in Kronovi's book. 
Mechtos at the moment is going to struggle to get near it with the boost that Kronovi's allowed him to have. This is what every player who beat Mechtos has done. They've denied him boost because he's not someone who likes playing the low econ game. That's a lot of time wasted by Kronovi. Just 48 seconds left. Mechtos fakes him. Oh, he just couldn't quite reach the bounce off the floor, though. He wanted to try and chip it in. Kronovi got away with it. Now, even less time for Mechtos. Oh, he's forced the own goal in here post, though. So both players in game three forcing own goals. Mechtos not with a pull shot, but by changing the location of the ball ever so slightly. Kronovi's dunk not coming in from the right angle. 35 seconds left. Still possible for Mektos. And you feel with how unfortunate Kronovi has been all tournament long that it's inevitable. The comeback can never be ruled out. Mektos aerialing in. He's got the ball on the goal line, but it's saved by Crow for now, but not forever. 22 seconds. Mektos back within two goals. Is it inevitable? Kronovi must be thinking about it. He just needs to waste the time. Stop Mektos from scoring for these remaining seconds. You can guarantee Mektos is going to try everything to create those opportunities. But Kronovi's doing well here. Time is being wasted. Even then, Mektos finds a way through. I think he's scoring before zero seconds. <laughs> yes, he is. Just when it looked like Kronovi was going to waste the remaining time, Mektos finds the challenge he needed. And now a kickoff goal would do it. That is the world that Kronovi lives in. His worst nightmare could be coming true again, but not this time. Kronovi gets a win. And we go into game four with Mektos leading 2-1. Crow takes the third game. Some time wasting and a safe kickoff keeps Mektos away from a last second tie game and overtime. He's still behind, but having won a game now, Crow will feel more confident that he can draw level in the next game. Game four, how will Mektos respond to receiving his first loss against Kronovi all tournament long? He was five wins in a row before this in this matchup. And now he's only in front by one. The 3-0 in league play counts for nothing. All that matters is the next four games. At most, could be less. And Mektos is off to a good start again. Waiting and just watching to see if this long shot would dip under the bar. I believe he would have been able to score the rebound almost inevitably, even if it did bounce awkwardly for him. And he didn't have to think about it. And now he's giving Kronovi something to think about. Ceiling shot low. Well saved by Crow. Even though Mekto's miss must have been a surprise to him there. He's still got in the way of the ball. So that's good challenge angle by him. He ties up the game. Now if Kronovi could tie up the series here, suddenly... I think all the pressure has to go on to Mektos. He also has had a losing streak coming into this matchup, just like Kronovi has. And he's been on the receiving end of some heavy losses as well. Kronovi's mind game, adding even more pressure to the pile. Mektos thought surely Kronovi must be dodging, but he was wrong. And now he's losing 2-1. This is definitely... A series that will answer everybody's number one question, though. What does it look like when Kronovi doesn't lose three matches in a row with ten kickoff goals? Well, it looks something like this. It's a very interesting series, very back and forth. Like Mektos is fighting tooth and nail here. And both players are doing a fantastic job of countering each other's early challenges. Has to be said. Brilliant early movement of the ball there by Mektos. Kronovi surprised by the height the pop was able to come out at. Just over a minute into the game, we're all tied up once again. But Kronovi might be about to change that. He's got a bit of boost left, but he's missed it. And I think that was scorable. If he'd taken some more time to set it up. And here he comes again. Slow second touch, but he still has an opening. But Mektos gets square in the way of it. And now he's missed the open net. Kronovi catches a break. He really would have only had himself to blame if Mektos had scored there because his counter-attack should have been quicker. It should have been harder to tackle for Mektos. Actually, several touches this game for Crow have not been as good as they were intended to be. Mektos shows him how he's done. He drills a hook shot down the middle. 
And that's dangerous for Crow because he's given Mektos at least two possessions in a row there. That shouldn't have been as easy to win. That's the opposite of what you want to do against Mektos. You have to deny this guy time on the ball. Not give it to him. Kronobi already knows that. And now he's going to try and do to Mektos what he did to him in game one. It's a huge dunk by Crow to equalize three all. Just forcing himself through the ball there. It was a good early flick as well just to deny Mektos any chance of getting a save. So interesting to see this 50-50 battle. Kronobi's rising to the occasion here. I felt like that might be one of Mektos edges in this matchup. Kronovi disagrees. Nice early challenge again. Look at the recovery by Crow. It's even better. He's sent Mektos a high pop to think about. Mektos has handled it well. And now look at the speed as he comes in for the counter attack. Both players sending heavy hits towards each other. And both sitting deep, ready to intercept. Mektos almost loses his life as he tries to make an interception. There's another one. Always as early as possible and Mektos gets the demo wide open net he makes his way around it and puts it in and that's careless by Crow, but masterfully done by Mektos you have to look out for the demo if you're defending in the back corner the 50 50 is never the play there for Mektos he's only really going for the kill Kronovi has a chance to tie things with strong kickoff double jump pop not effective Mektos is already recovered Kronovi's pre-jump doesn't get the job done. Mektos is there for the rebound. And that was a bit wild by Crow. He did respect Mektos' ability to shoot that first touch on target. And rightfully so, it was a possible shot for Mektos to hit. But was it necessary? Did he need the pre-jump to get that save? That is the question. Kronovi with another slow dribble. These have not worked against Mektos too often. Might work this time. No goes wide. Mektos handling himself brilliantly against these awkward dribbles of Crow. Kronovi struggling to deal with Mektos' heavy hits. What a volley by Mektos. Whether it's on the bounce or after it, he sure knows how to strike the ball. Big hit downfield. Good placement as well. As he doubles Kronovi's score. Remember this is a matchup. Kronovi has already lost. He does not want to go 3-1 down and have to win three matches in a row. Wave dash in the ceiling by Mektos. Backflip flick into the bar, down and in. And he's ahead 7-3 in emphatic style. Just unbelievable shooting by Mektos. Kronovi can't get near it. And can you blame him when you're up against offense like this? What hope do you have? Kronovi needs to halt Mektos much sooner than this once he gets into that position it's already over but that's nice offense by Crow as well not as many resets not as many fancy flicks but it still counts for one full volley double jump Kronovi back within three 92 seconds left on the clock he's going to need to get the ball under control and fast because Mektos is on fire right now Kronovi fakes a touch just to deny Mektos an early play on the ball Mektos stays with it anyway. Oh, and misses the mid-boost though now. Kronovi has some space. And the flick is good. Just off though. And rebound. Also saved by Mektos. That's so close. That's so far for Kronovi. And also, at the other end, his troubles continue. Mektos striking is just as quick and just as deadly as it's been all match long. Kronovi down by four yet again. And now time is really starting to run out for him it has to be a goal on every attack you feel or it's just not going to happen for a mind game by Crow open net but barely but he does put it in Mektos knew the only thing he could do there was own goal so he didn't want to dodge into the ball and score the goal for Crow faster you never know maybe that split second wasted as the ball bounces over the line will be needed by Mektos later on Kronovi trying to interfere as early as possible. He knows he has to get the ball under control and fast, but Mektos takes him out the play. Kronovi might have been looking for a demo of his own there, but Mektos catches him off guard. Challenge by Crow. Effective, but against a player who's got just more boost than he has. How can he keep up? He's in a tough position, and this 50-50's not gone well. 
If Kronovi doesn't score in the next few seconds, this will be game four to Mektos and also a triple match point. This one, he absolutely deserves. He's played a blinder in offense. Kronovi going for his only win condition left, the pinch shot, and that lets him down as well. He does need three wins in a row from here on. Mektos just needs one. After four games, Mektos is two ahead again and reaches match point, which puts all the pressure on Crow for the foreseeable future. We will need a big step up if he wants to start that record-breaking gauntlet run we have all been anticipating. He needs three in a row now. Three games needed. This is the first one. Kronovi, as usual, checking to see what Mexos is doing on the kickoff and adapting accordingly. And the rebound just too far gone for him to put in. But he's in a good position here. Kronovi has Mektos backed up into a corner. And even if he's not scoring, this is where you want Mektos to be. This is where everybody who beat him has had him for most of their wins. And in the one win Kronovi did get this series, he did outshoot Mektos. He was able to outpressure him for pretty much the entire game. All that the Mektos wins came off the back of having more shots. If he gets those shots, he tends to pop off. He tends to start feeling pretty confident about his play and putting multiple goals in. But Kronovi starts us off here with a very interesting dunk goal. Did he challenge this one in reverse? You bet he did. Nice angle by Kuro, just sending it directly on net. Mektos too slow to react to the reversing opponent. Now that's the two things that Kronovi has to focus on here. One, maximum pressure. Whenever he gets Mektos, in defense, he has to keep him there as long as possible. And number two, possession. He has to waste as much time as possible when he's in front. Frustrate Mektos, deny him that time on the ball that he so often needs to play at his best. The dangerous thing about Kronovi's current predicament is that even if he does play a perfect series from here, he's against a kind of player who might just pop off and win a game regardless of what you do. That is the problem with going 3-1 down against a mechanical genius such as Mektos. Novi's gonna have to avoid going 3-1 down in this game five. Already trailing by one. Mektos doesn't have a lot of boost to play with here. He's looking to pick up the corner one on spawn. This is the sort of position that Kronovi needs to thrive in. He's Pin Mektos back just for a moment there. And this dunk by Mektos has relieved so much pressure. Kronovi has to avoid running into that kind of touch and also has to be careful not to overextend while doing it. He may have done so. Mektos suddenly a turn of pressure. He realizes the opportunity. Kronovi's touch has been somewhat effective though. Good dodge as well. He's got the opening. Can he take it? Backflip flake. Oh my days, Kronovi! With one of the best goals we've seen all tournament, Mektos even going to drop a compliment for that one. That is unbelievable power. Multiple touches as the ball launches off the front of the car. And what a way to tie up the game. There's no doubt that any other dodge wouldn't have got the job done. Kronovi found the backflip and he puts the ball flying down the middle on target for an unreal shot. And what is his reward? to be on the receiving end of a kickoff goal. He has to do it all over again. Three minutes remaining. Mektos, as usual, landing in reverse on the straight-up kickoff. Kronovi sends one on target, but slowly. Mektos still struggling. It's wide open for Crow. Mektos sniffs out the mind game, and Kronovi, oh, he gets a pretty lucky double touch in off the bar. I'm not sure he knew much about that one, but he'll take it. He needs every goal he can get right now. 2.52 on the clock, and we're all tied up again in what might be Kronovi's last stand. Mektos keeping him guessing on the kickoff. He realizes this isn't the same free win kickoff matchup like he saw earlier. Like everybody saw when they played against Kronovi in the tournament. It's a credit to Crow for fixing that one problem. But can he fix the other much larger problem he's got? And that is that Mektos has a two game lead on him. He almost got a creative goal there. Duncan through the ceiling shot. Mektos goalkeeping has been very impressive at times. Both players 
with unbelievable stops. Kronovi diving up early here with a crazy pre-jump. This is just what you have to do if you're playing in a matchup like this. We're playing 4D chess now. No dimension is out of bounds. Mektos, another open net after a demo. Kronovi's just spawned so close in front of him, but not close enough. So with just under two minutes remaining, Mektos in front again. It's the same corner where he demoed Kronovi earlier for a sneaky goal. Kronovi letting his guard down when it matters most. He's playing his boost as carefully as he can. He knows Mektos is likely to have the advantage for a good while here. It's difficult to dispossess him. Mektos showing Kronovi how to look after your car when you're being hunted. Kronovi. Trying to bring the ball down. He gets sent up the wall by Mektos. So at least this time, Kronovi not getting demoed in the back corner. Both players know how dangerous of a position that can be. It's a hard shot by Mektos, though. Kronovi going to struggle to reach it. He can't get there. And after doing a couple of laps of the field, Mektos comes out on top. And that's all away from the kickoff. Kronovi could never get back in full control of the play. Mektos was in full speed mode. Wasting time and dribbling the ball any which way he wants. Still has a dodge here. Kronovi being careful about that. Not wanting to commit too early. Fortunately for him though, the counter-attack was slow. But he's still made it work. What wall shot by Crow. Getting up early here. Into position. Just in case Mektos makes that awkward pop touch that is so common on a retreat back to your corner. Well read by Kronovi. Still though. Trailing by one, but for how long? Mektos almost caught off guard with a sneaky kickoff shot by Kronovi. He's now turning early. This is the kind of play style he needs to make against Mektos. Almost finds the top corner now. As Mektos suddenly rattled in defense. All of his boost has been wasted trying to keep up. Kronovi has to control this play. He can't lose control of the ball or it could be over and he does lose control. Mektos has an opening. Kronovi can't land on it. And just like that, Mektos' two-goal lead is re-established. It was that one touch in the back corner by Kuro. It wasn't quite good enough. He conceded possession while trying to hold on to it. And now he's got an incredibly difficult task ahead of him. He certainly played a lot better than he did in the first matchup against Mektos, but it does look like a difficult one for Kronovi to figure out. Still has time, but Mektos has answers. 18 seconds left. Kronovi needs two goals. Where are they? Mektos wonders. Not anywhere near. That's what it looks like. And now, as the clock ticks down, the difficult task becomes impossible. Kronovi has fought as well as he could. But he just didn't have enough time left. That's actually a brilliant wall shot to finish the game. But it is nothing more than consolation as Kronovi wishes Mektos good luck in his future matches in the playoffs. GG's and well played to Kronovi. Kronovi was only destined to reach game five in today's series and round one of the gauntlet is over with one last excellent shot. Mektos takes the win today. With a safe 4-1 series scoreline, his losing streak over. Mektos has earned his place in round 2 of the gauntlet, and now at a minimum will earn $100 in addition to his league play total. If he keeps up the gauntlet wins he could still secure final world's invitation that is up for grabs. However, that would demand reaching the 5th round which leaves a long way to go. We say bye to Crow, as he is the first player eliminated from the NA Salt Mine Gauntlet. Maybe we'll see him again next year. Thank you again to Zydax and Intel for sponsoring the NA Salt Mine. Get your own customized and affordable PC from Zydax with 5% off by using the offer code JOHNNYBOY. Forky is waiting for us, and for Mectos, in round 2 of the Gauntlet. Which you can see tomorrow. Thank you for watching. This is the NA Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian. Game 4, how will Mektos respond to receiving his first loss against Kronovi all tournament long? He was 5 wins in a row before this, in this matchup. And now he's only in front 
by one. The 3-0 in league play counts for nothing. All that matters is the next four games. At most, could be less. And Mektos is off to a good start again. Waiting and just watching to see if this long shot would dip under the bar. I believe he would have been able to score the rebound almost inevitably, even if it did bounce awkwardly for him. And he didn't have to think about it. And now he's giving Kronovi something to think about. Ceiling shot low. Well saved by Crow. Even though Mektos miss must have been a surprise to him there. He still got in the way of the ball, so that's good challenge angle by him. He ties up the game. Now, if Kronovi could tie up the series here, suddenly, I think all the pressure go has to go on to Mektos. He also has had a losing streak coming into this matchup, just like Kronovi has. And he's been on the receiving end of some heavy losses as well. Kronovi's mind game, adding even more pressure to the pile. Mektos thought surely Kronovi must be dodging, but he was wrong. And now he's losing 2-1. This is definitely a series that will answer everybody's number one question, though. What does it look like when Kronovi doesn't lose three matches in a row with ten kickoff goals? Well, it looks something like this. It's a very interesting series, very back and forth. Like Mektos is fighting tooth and nail here. And both players are doing a fantastic job of countering each other's early challenges, has to be said. Brilliant early movement of the ball there by Mektos. Kronovi surprised by the height the pop was able to come out at. Just over a minute into the game, we're all tied up once again. But Kronovi might be about to change that. He's got a bit of boost left, but he's missed it. And I think that was scorable. If he'd taken some more time to set it up. Now here he comes again. Slow second touch, but he still has an opening. But Mektos gets square in the way of it. And now he's missed the open net. Kronovi catches a break. He really would have only had himself to blame if Mektos had scored there because his counter-attack should have been quicker. It should have been harder to tackle for Mektos. Actually, several touches this game for Crow have not been as good as they were intended to be. Mektos shows him how it's done. He drills a hook shot down the middle. And that's dangerous for Crow because he's given Mektos at least two possessions in a row there. That shouldn't have been as easy to win. That's the opposite of what you want to do against Mektos. You have to deny this guy time on the ball. Not give it to him. Kronovi already knows that. And now he's going to try and do to Mektos what he did to him in game one. It's a huge dunk by Kro to equalize three all. Just forcing himself through the ball there. It was a good early flick as well just to deny Mektos any chance of getting a save. So interesting to see this 50-50 battle. Kronovi's rising to the occasion here. I felt like that might be one of Mekto's edges in this matchup. Kronovi disagrees. Nice early challenge again. Look at the recovery by Crow. It's even better. He's sent Mekto's a high pop to think about. Mekto's has handled it well. And now look at the speed as he comes in for the counter-attack. Both players sending heavy hits towards each other. And both sitting deep ready to intercept. Mektos almost loses his life as he tries to make an interception. There's another one. Always as early as possible and Mektos gets the demo. Wide open net. He makes his way around it and puts it in. And that's careless by Crow, but masterfully done by Mektos. You have to look out for the demo if you're defending in the back corner. The 50-50 is never the play there for Mektos. He's only really going for the kill. Kronovi has a chance to tie things with strong kickoff. Double jump pop. Not effective. Mektos is already recovered. Kronovi's pre-jump doesn't get the job done. Mektos is there for the rebound. And that was a bit wild by Kuro. He did respect Mektos' ability to shoot that first touch on target. And rightfully so, it was a possible shot for Mektos to hit. But was it necessary? Did he need the pre-jump to get that save? That is the question. Kronovi with another slow dribble. These have not worked against Mektos too often. Might work this time. No goes wide. Mektos handling himself brilliantly against these awkward dribbles of Crow. Kronovi struggling to deal with Mektos' heavy hits. What a volley by Mektos. Whether it's on the bounce or after it, he sure knows how to strike the ball. Big hit downfield. Good placement as well. 
as he doubles Kronovi's score. Remember this a matchup. Kronovi has already lost. He does not want to go 3 1 down and have to win three matches in a row. Wave dash in the ceiling by Mektos. Backflip flick into the bar, down and in. And he's ahead 7 3 in emphatic style. Just unbelievable shooting by Mektos. Kronovi can't get near it. And can you blame him when you're up against offense like this? What hope do you have? Kronovi needs to halt Mektos much sooner than this. So once he gets into that position, it's already over. But that's nice offense by Crow as well. Not as many resets, not as many fancy flicks. But it still counts for one. Full volley, double jump. Kronovi back within three. 92 seconds left on the clock. He's going to need to get the ball under control and fast because Mektos is on fire right now. Kronovi fakes a touch just to deny Mektos an early play on the ball. Mekto stays with it anyway. Oh, he misses the mid boost though now. Kronovi has some space. And the flick is good. Just off though. And the rebound. Also saved by Mektos. That's so close. That's so far for Kronovi. And also, at the other end, his troubles continue. Mektos striking is just as quick and just as deadly as it's been all match long. Kronovi down by four yet again. And now time is really starting to run out for him. It has to be a goal on every attack, you feel. Or it's just not going to happen for him. Mind game by Crow. Open net, but barely. But he does put it in. Mektos knew that the only thing he could do there was own goal, so he didn't want to dodge into the ball and score the goal for Crow faster. You never know. Maybe that split second wasted as the ball bounces over the line. Will be needed by Mektos later on. Kronovi trying to interfere as early as possible. He knows he has to get the ball under control and fast, but Mektos takes him out the play. Kronovi might have been looking for a demo of his own there, but Mektos catches him off guard. Challenge by Crow. Effective, but against a player who's got just more boost than he has. How can he keep up? He's in a tough position. And this 50-50 has not gone well. If Kronovi doesn't score in the next few seconds, this will be game four to Mektos and also a triple match point. This one, he absolutely deserves. He's played a blinder in offense. Kronovi going for his only win condition left, the pinch shot, and that lets him down as well. He does need three wins in a row from here on. Mektos just needs one. After four games, Mektos is two ahead again and reaches match point, which puts all the pressure on Crow for the foreseeable future. We will need a big step up if he wants to start that record-breaking gauntlet run we have all been anticipating. He needs three in a row now. Three games needed. This is the first one. Kronovi, as usual, checking to see what Mexos is doing on the kickoff and adapting accordingly. And the rebound just too far gone for him to put in. But he's in a good position here. Kronovi has Mektos backed up into a corner. And even if he's not scoring, this is where you want Mektos to be. This is where everybody who beat him has had him for most of their wins. And in the one win Kronovi did get this series, he did outshoot Mektos. He was able to outpressure him for pretty much the entire game. All that Mektos wins came off the back of having more shots. If he gets those shots, he tends to pop off. He tends to start feeling pretty confident about his play and putting multiple goals in. But Kronovi starts us off here with a very interesting dunk goal. Did he challenge this one in reverse? You bet he did. Nice angle by Crow, just sending it directly on net. Mektos too slow to react to the reversing opponent. Now that's the two things that Kronovi has to focus on here. One, maximum pressure. Whenever he gets Mektos, in defense, he has to keep him there as long as possible. And number two, possession. He has to waste as much time as possible when he's in front. Frustrate Mektos. Deny him that time on the ball that he so often needs to play at his best. The dangerous thing about Kronovi's current predicament is that even if he does play a perfect series from here, he's against a kind of player who might just pop off and win a game regardless of what you do. That is the problem with going 3-1 down against a mechanical genius such as Mektos. 
Novi's going to have to avoid going 3-1 down in this game five. Already trailing by one. Mektos doesn't have a lot of boost to play with here. He's looking to pick up the corner one on spawn. This is the sort of position that Kronovi needs to thrive in. He's pinned Mektos back just for a moment there. And this dunk by Mektos has relieved so much pressure. Kronovi has to avoid running into that kind of touch. And also has to be careful not to overextend while doing it. He may have done so. Mektos suddenly a turn of pressure. He realizes the opportunity. Kronovi's touch has been somewhat effective though. Good dodge as well. He's got the opening. Can he take it? Backflip flick. Oh my days, Kronovi! With one of the best goals we've seen all tournament. Mektos even going to drop a compliment for that one. That is unbelievable power. Multiple touches as the ball launches off the front of the car. And what a way to tie up the game. There's no doubt that any other dodge wouldn't have got the job done. Kronovi found the backflip and he puts the ball flying down the middle on target for an unreal shot. And what is his reward? To be on the receiving end of a kickoff goal. He has to do it all over again. Three minutes remaining. Mektos, as usual, landing in reverse on the straight-up kickoff. Kronovi sends one on target, but slowly. Mektos still struggling. It's wide open for Crow. Mektos sniffs out the mind game, and Kronovi, oh, he gets a pretty lucky double touch in off the bar. I'm not sure he knew much about that one, but he'll take it. He needs every goal he can get right now. 2.52 on the clock, and we're all tied up again in what might be Kronovi's last stand. Mektos keeping him guessing on the kickoff. He realizes this isn't the same free win kickoff matchup like he saw earlier. Like everybody saw when they played against Kronovi in the tournament. So credit to Crow for fixing that one problem. But can he fix the other much larger problem he's got? And that is that Mektos has a two game lead on him. He almost got a creative goal there. Duncan through the ceiling shot. Mektos goalkeeping has been very impressive at times. Both players with unbelievable stops. Kronovi diving up early here with a crazy pre-jump. This is just what you have to do if you're playing in a matchup like this. We're playing 4D chess now. No dimension is out of bounds. Mektos, another open net after a demo. Kronovi's just spawned so close in front of him, but not close enough. So with just under two minutes remaining, Mektos in front again. It's the same corner where he demoed Kronovi earlier for a sneaky goal. Kronovi letting his guard down when it matters most. He's playing his boost as carefully as he can. He knows Mektos is likely to have the advantage for a good while here. It's difficult to dispossess him. Mektos showing Kronovi how to look after your car when you're being hunted. Kronovi trying to bring the ball down. He gets sent up the wall by Mektos. So at least this time Kronovi not getting demoed in the back corner. Both players know how dangerous of a position that can be. It's a hard shot by Mektos though. Kronovi going to struggle to reach it. He can't get there. And after doing a couple of laps of the field, Mektos comes out on top. And that's all away from the kickoff. Kronovi could never get back in full control of the play. Mektos was in full speed mode, wasting time and dribbling the ball any which way he wants. Still has a dodge here. Kronovi being careful about that, not wanting to commit too early. Fortunately for him though, the counter-attack was slow, but he's still made it work. What a wall shot by Crow. Getting up early here into position, just in case Mektos makes that awkward pop touch that is so common on a retreat back to your corner. Well read by Kronovi, still though trailing by one. But for how long, Mektos almost caught off guard with a sneaky kickoff shot by Kronovi. He's now turning early. This is the kind of play style he needs to make against Mektos. Almost finds the top corner now. As Mektos suddenly rattled in defense. All of his boost has been wasted trying to keep up. Kronovi has to control this play. He can't lose control of the ball or it could be over and he does lose control. Mektos has an opening. Kronovi can't land on it. And just like that, Mektos two goal lead is re-established. It was that one touch in the back corner by Kuro. It wasn't quite good enough. He conceded possession while trying to hold on to it. And now he's got 
an incredibly difficult task ahead of him. He certainly played a lot better than he did in the first matchup against Mektos, but it does look like a difficult one for Kronovi to figure out. Still has time, but Mektos has answers. 18 seconds left. Kronovi needs two goals. Where are they? Mektos wonders. Not anywhere near. That's what it looks like. And now, as the clock ticks down, the difficult task becomes impossible. Kronovi has fought as well as he could, but he just didn't have enough time left. That's actually a brilliant wall shot to finish the game, but it is nothing more than consolation as Kronovi wishes Mektos good luck in his future matches in the playoffs. GG's and well played to Kronovi. Kronovi was only destined to reach game 5 in today's series, and round 1 of the gauntlet is over, with one last excellent shot. Mektos takes the win today. With a safe 4-1 series scoreline, his losing streak over. Mektos has earned his place in round 2 of the gauntlet, and now at a minimum will earn $100 in addition to his league play total. If he keeps up the gauntlet wins he could still secure final world's invitation that is up for grabs. However, that would demand reaching the fifth round which leaves a long way to go. We say bye to Crow, as he is the first player eliminated from the NA Salt Mine gauntlet. Maybe we'll see him again next year. Thank you again to Zydax and Intel for sponsoring the NA Salt Mine. Get your own customized and affordable PC from Zydax with 5% off by using the offer code JOHNNYBOY. Forky is waiting for us, and for Mektos, in round 2 of the gauntlet. Which you can see tomorrow. Thank you for watching, this is the NA Salt Mine, I am your host, and friend, Brian.